Hey everybody, today I'm out at Texas Unplugged. It's a brand new getaway just east of Waco, Texas. And it's really, really special. You can see this wonderful tree house behind me. It's brand new. I'm gonna be the first person out here. Uh, it's not due to open to the public for a few months, but we're out here gonna do some media today. We're gonna do some photos. I'm gonna show you around. They're still finishing up inside. It still needs just a little bit of work today. So I'm not gonna take you in there just yet. But one of the really cool things about this place is they have some beautiful, beautiful exotic animals. So the first thing we're gonna do in this video, is we're gonna walk down this little trail that's behind us and we're gonna go take a look at some of the animals that are already here. They're still bringing some more out, but they do have some really cool stuff already. So while they're putting the final touches on the treehouse, I'm gonna take you down this little trail that's right behind the house. So they're not due to open to the public for another couple months. So there's still some construction going on, still a little bit of cleanup. And of course I'm out here early just to capture photos and content you know for their website and stuff like that so if you see anything that looks a little bit off a little incomplete just uh, understand that's why but i did want to put this video together because this is really really awesome over here on my left that's going to be a stocked fishing pond so they're going to allow the guests to come out and fish there's actually two of these fishing ponds and so this isn't going to be just an overnight stay where you stay for a night, you go into town and do things. They're trying to turn this into an entire retreat for families or couples. And so there's gonna be a lot to do out here. The very first resident that I wanna show y'all out here, he uh, actually greeted me as I was pulling in. Wasn't sure what to expect as I was coming out here. I uh, you know, knew a little bit about it, but I was not expecting to see this guy right here. Is a young male kangaroo when I pulled up thought it was a wallaby. I've been around a couple wallabies in Texas, uh, but I've never been around a kangaroo. Saw that it was small, I kind of assumed, but he is such a cool little guy. He's a great subject. Just kind of hanging out here. And uh, the owner of the ranch of Texas Unplugged Talent, uh, he has a lot of experience with exotic animals. And so there's gonna be a lot of stuff like this out here. And uh, even for a grown person, I'm uh, acting like a little kid with this guy just hopping around behind me. So I could really see how children would just find this place incredible. Hey, can we talk for a second? You see that really pretty patch of flowers out there where the sun's hitting it? It's the little white flowers. Those, right there. I need you to go out in those. Can you do that for me? I bet I can convince talent to give you a snack. You just have to go out into that really pretty, look, it's right there. Yeah, see, keep going. So the next residents I'm gonna introduce you to are Kitty and Stitch. Uh, this is an Oryx. I've never been close enough to one to uh, touch it before. And this one's crazy friendly. This is a male and the female is over there grazing. Can you guess what her name is? We have. Stitch? Yeah, her name is Lilo. It's really cute. But look at Kitty! This beautiful deer, oh my gosh. It is so friendly. So trying to get some really wide angle stuff of Stitch right here. Look at those horns! Yes, thank you! That was your cue, wasn't it, buddy? So walking down the pen a ways, I wanted to uh, introduce you to Lilo. But, uh, Stitch, buddy, I like him. We're friends now. He could probably fight off uh, assailants for me. But I need him to let me shoot some photos of his girlfriend, Stitch, buddy. Yeah, can I shoot some photos of Lilo, please? Can you let me shoot some photos of Lilo, please? Can be my buddy, huh? Yeah. One pin down from the Oryx, we have another one with a really great little herd of deer. They're a little bit more skittish, so I have to be kind of quiet right now, otherwise they will run off. But uh, we're about halfway through. We have something really cool to look at next. I bet you did not expect to have dinosaurs in this video. We have actual dinosaurs. Look at this guy. This emu. He actually has some ostriches that he's going to bring out here as well. And you know an ostrich is huge, way bigger than an emu. But these things are still just like dinosaurs. I'll try to get some audio for you. But they have kind of a purr or kind of a growl. It sounds a lot like a velociraptor. And they have these really, really big talons on their feet. 
Uh, these three seem like they're really friendly. They've kind of been following me around. Okay. Got one more group of animals to show you. I might be missing one. But uh, Talent said these are Chinese deer. Never seen one before, so I can't tell you if, uh, if I remember that correctly. But look at his fuzzy antlers. And there's two females back there, and he said they're either uh, in heat or possibly pregnant. And so uh, they're not going to get too close to us. But Thor here is very friendly. Yeah. Oh, his antlers are so fuzzy. Huh? You having a good day, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! It's been a really long day. So, me and uh, the guy that's out here doing some video work with some models and stuff today, we helped uh, kind of spread some rocks, kind of clean the place up, just get it ready. They were just a little behind schedule. It happens a lot. Now, since uh, we already lost a big half of the day doing that, I was just helping uh, pick up some of the slack on the video side of things just to make sure he had enough video because he has to go home tonight. I'm going to be here uh, for the next day. And I did walk away, though, because we got some really good light, finally. It's kind of cloudy earlier, which makes for good video, makes for good photos, too, but I like the dramatic lighting. See that's... Uh, sun kind of kissing the greens highlighting it that's what i like and so i uh, hiked back to to the tree house uh see if we can get some of this real pretty dramatic lighting so we had a lot going on last night we had some people come out to model some scenes for photos and some video so the tree house is once again a little dirty so they're up there getting it clean but uh, while they're doing that, before I take you in there, I did want to walk around the grounds a little bit. Look at this beautiful kind of forest that we're in. There's these great vines, lots of trees, very dense, lots of great wildlife too. I've seen a bunch of cardinals and blue jays, a bunch of different birds. And you can see the treehouse right behind me. This is right next to the treehouse. The entire grounds are like this. You're really out here in this beautiful forest. I'm really, really liking this spot can just get out here and escape, uh, kind of get away from everything. All right, I'm finally excited to be able to share with you the treehouse out here at Texas Unplugged. But before we go inside, I'm just gonna be quiet for a second. I want you to listen. Some beautiful birds, they've been going off all afternoon. I said earlier in the video there are just a few more months before this opens to the public officially. So you'll notice a few things that still need to be done on the exterior and in the interior. You can see there's uh, some areas where the new mulch still needs to be spread. There's a few things over here on the exterior, but it's still really, really beautiful. This is my favorite vantage point for the treehouse. It almost looks like the Millennium Falcon. We have this little round piece over here. This faces east, so behind me is east. So when the sun sets, the trees and the light rays that are coming through, it's really, really stunning. This is just a great vantage point. And so if you're in the hot tub or if you're over here sitting around the fire pit, it just makes a really beautiful backdrop. You also have some outdoor plugs. You have some really great lights. We'll turn those on here in a little bit. And then, of course, you have this fantastic hot tub. Brand new, has speakers on the front, lots of great jets. Like I was saying earlier, kind of about sunset and facing this way, it's just really, really frames up the treehouse. So, so nice. Below the treehouse, a great hanging bed, the nice memory foam mattress. You also have some outdoor plugs here, which to me, it's really important because I love to sit outside and edit, work on the laptop. And then over here, we have a sand pit, little little sand pit for the kids. A uh, couple of talent, the owner, we had a couple of his kids in there playing in it earlier. They just really, really loved it. And so there's going to be some more things like that to do for kids or couples. And so this is really going to be a place where... It can be a private romantic retreat for couples or there's also two bedrooms and so you could bring your whole family out here and just really enjoy it so it's kind of catering to both sets of people but let's go ahead and get up the stairs and go inside
once you're on the deck up here, you have a great view of, of the property. It really feels like you're seriously in the middle of nowhere, even though the highway is just a few miles away. And here we are inside the treehouse. This is your main living area and kitchen. Bar top counter for eating. I was actually in here on the laptop working earlier. Has a fantastic view, especially right at sunrise. The sun just peeks through the trees and really makes everything glow. Here in our first bedroom, Simple, but very, very nice and comfortable. These really nice, warm, warm lights. Everything is brand new. This is a finished build, it's brand new. And so all of the beds and lens are fresh out of their packaging. Again, you have that wonderful forest view out of the windows. And the windows do open up, so you can crank those open. You can get some fresh air. Just enjoy the sounds of nature while you're here. Each room has its own mini split unit. It does get hot and humid down here, especially during the summer. So it's very nice to have your own mini split. You have some storage underneath the bed. No closet in here, but you do have under bed storage as well as enough room throughout the rest of the unit to you know keep your luggage and things like that. Here in our second bedroom, it's a very similar setup to the first. Like I said, very simple, but it works Out here in your main living area, we already talked about it's nice bar top and the side has been kind of cut unevenly like a live edge would be. Good little living area. And over here in the kitchen, the kitchen is very, very well equipped. You have a full size stove and cooktop. Large microwave. And then you have a full size fridge and freezer. And so there's actually some food that we have in here. We had some food catered yesterday just because we had so many people here. So some of our leftover food in there. I guess it's not exactly a full size, but it's a pretty normal size. And everybody always wants to see the bathroom. And I love the way that this one is put together. It makes use of the space very well. You have a very large circular vanity in the modern lighting. Very good sink, but the shower is my favorite. You have the nice rainfall style shower head, large glass door. And you also have another window that opens up. And so if you'd like to open this window up whenever you're taking your shower, you have that option. So there it is. That's the inside of the treehouse here at Texas Unplugged at Sherry Ranch. It's a really beautiful spot. It's very well put together. It's modern. It's not cluttered. He is going to come in at some point and put some art on the walls and things like that just to fill some of the blank spaces that you're seeing. But it's a very modern, simple setup. Anybody that comes out here is going to be very comfortable. You have everything that you need to fix nice suppers or breakfasts. You have comfortable beds. You have great views nice heating and cooling units, a spacious living area. And so whether you're a family coming out here for a getaway or a couple coming out here for a romantic birthday or anniversary or celebration, this is gonna be a really good pick. And there's so much property to explore and the animals are so friendly and fun to be around that this is going to end up being one of my favorite properties once it's open. So we'll go back downstairs now. I'm gonna go get my camera equipment. We're gonna shoot some more kind of photos and some videos while we're here. But I just wanted to share this place with y'all. I've been to a lot of properties lately and for some reason, this one just kind of speaks to me. I don't normally think of this area of Texas as some place that I want to get away to, but I think that by making this into sort of a destination getaway in itself, you're going to have fishing, you have the animals, he's going to have a garden and a lot of other things. And so I think this is gonna be kind of a one-stop shop if you're coming to the area for other reasons. Of course, you can go out and enjoy yourself, but. I think this is going to be one of my favorite properties of 2023. Can't wait to see it all finished and wrapped up. Hope you enjoyed this short vlog out here at Texas Unplugged. This is a really cool unit. I've really enjoyed my stay here. I've enjoyed the owners. Everybody is so accommodating and friendly. And it really helps when you have such fantastic people behind the property. But anyway, I'll stop rambling and wrap this up. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And we'll see you at the next spot.